Well, this video is using task automation to change some reloads. Here are the steps that are involved in the reload. We'll go through each of those steps in the video. Uh, Luan looks up the best practices, um, mentoring and training. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, hit the bell icon and like. So I'm going to reload these two apps. I'm a bit of an earthquake geek, so I'm going to reload the data extractor and then the Earthquakes app itself. So I create a new automation, and I'm using a template to do this. It's the chain of reloads. So most of the work is done for me already in that formatting. I need to choose, first of all, the data extractor that I use for the Earthquakes, which goes to the US Geological Survey. Grab its data, there it is. And I go to the next app that will be reloaded is this one, and it's the Earthquake app itself. So I'm using two-tier architecture for this one. The reason I'm choosing that is because I can incrementally load using the QVDs. All right, once I've got those pieces done, I've got my entire process organized, which is really nice. And I can run that one to have a look at how it works, make sure it all works properly. I can run each individual piece and just do 100 records in each of the apps as well as a test. Uh, this one's relatively small, so it's all finished in a few seconds. Um, I can look at what happened chronologically, and I can see that there are no app errors in the reload, so I'm quite happy. I'm Go into this area just to have a look, make sure I've got a decent name for my application. And I'll change it to mention the word earthquake. Okay, excellent. Just to confirm that's all done. We can check the settings here. There's nothing that caused me any grief. Now, once I've created the automation, um, it it's created from um, the front page where you've got all your visualizations. I can then choose um, a time for it to reload. So I'm going to reload it um, when I did this that night or the next morning. I'm going to do it just after midnight. I always think it's best practice not to start things exactly at the hour because everybody does that. So um, I'm starting this one at 10 minutes past midnight. One thing um, I'll have to remember as well is that I, I have some schedules in there to reload the apps independently, and I'll need to turn those off. So everything's saved in the automation, including the times. Just to show you again, there's the two applications that are being reloaded. That could have been five more. We can add more pieces into the chain if we need to, obviously. And if I go into the management console, I can go to the schedules area, which is here, and I can see I've got those two earthquake applications that I need to delete. All right, so that's the end of today's video. Uh, please subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon.